these cheetal had big horns on them and that is the reason we stopped to see these majestic deer and then the big moment the reason we came to yala the sri lankan leopard finally appeared in front of our eyes sitting on a tree but uh, sitting under it but it didn't stay for too long as it start as it started going towards the bush like it did not like us too much but we were very happy with the glimpse of the leopard that we got and this is a photo of the leopard disappearing into the wilderness at the lagoon area we could see a few painted stork a painted stork with its wings spread open and a few ducks the painted stork with its huge wings is open was a ve- was a very majestic sight to see after it had closed its wings again we f- we moved our focus to the ducks these were more ruddy shell ducks and then an- another leopard in the span of 25 minutes we saw two leopards our luck was suddenly changing this one was going through as we thought it was going to hunt guys well this is our second leopard that we have spotted and uh, it's on the prowl and there are also a couple of baby buffaloes which look vulnerable because the leopard is actually getting close to them so we are just waiting here and all other jeeps are waiting here in case an attempt of a kill is made so uh, yeah this is what's outside me it's very very far the buffaloes you can see that all the jeeps around here are waiting so well let's see we later found out that it didn't come to hunt but it came because there was water over there it sat very far in the distance and it was very hard for each of us folk to see so guys we are at a midway point here um we had lunch but we still have one and a half hours remaining and uh so we still have one and a half hours remaining so, uh, before we go on session number 2 uh so yeah we we'll relax we we'll see if we can find anything around this area there are a lot of monkeys we can hear horns there's a river down there so yeah so we we'll, uh, join you when we search for things we first started filming the horn bills these horn bills were sitting in a distant tree we had actually expected to see hornbills here and we hoped we could because this would be the first time in the wild that we are seeing hornbills and lo and behold we got one of the best sightings of hornbills that we could and it they were far but they weren't too far either so we were very happy that <clears throat> three of the things we came for or we saw them and this horn will flew across or to get to this tree lot of monkeys were there as well in the in our lunch area <clears throat> yeah and they were very funny doing very funny things as well with the horn will flying overhead and the and the monkeys on the tree it made for a very beautiful scene this monkey was playing around and was very happy and this one just ran across onto a tree on the way to the river we saw these beautiful and small cute fish which was swimming in a small little area of of water we saw the bigger fish in these as well and they were huge compared to the others once we got down to the river 
we were met by a huge school of trout which all came and lined themselves and lined themselves for us to photograph we, we were so happy to see this huge school of trout living so healthy living a healthy life in this river which is full of supplements and they just kept coming and coming and coming filling in the middle of the river uh, we did not expect to see so many fish down at the river but this is what you get when you are in a national park spectacles unbelievable spectacles as we moved on we could see the baby ones of those trout as well which were moving which were moving along and were hard to see then next we went on to see some bugs these bugs bugs were are just moving around in the in the water once we came back we saw more monkeys this one was looking straight at us us and this one ran across onto that tree bolo spice shop or whatever and then and then we saw this monkey drinking water uh, we it was an interesting scene but then this was very interesting a monkey going about its business eating a pineapple that it had stolen from picnic people monkeys are known to steal things but they mostly steal bananas but they can also steal other fruits not only fruits they can steal caps and glasses by glasses i mean spectacles so you have to be very careful with these monkeys and be careful not to feed them cuz then they can become a nuisance thinking that you are there for their food and and they don't need to search for it for now we were enjoying this uh, enjoying the sight of seeing this monkey breaking down and then eating pineapple and and it was doing it with no effort at all it was just tearing pieces with its own hand and then eating it and this is where i got this very good photo from this monkey was near the stream full of fish and then we saw this elephant which was sort of in the water but trying to get it something few minutes later we could see it was completely in the water uh, and enjoying a nice bath as i mentioned earlier in the video it was very hot out there so it was a good idea to take a bath guys now our second session has begun and it's for 2 hours so fingers crossed this is a good animation